TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? Little warning screen. Um, just in case, man. Don't forget the Patreon. We do have that. That's five days a week. That's where we'll react to stuff that we can't post on YouTube. And obviously, Twitch.com is where you can catch the lives. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. This is Joe Fish. I think this is a new channel. Yeah, I ain't never watched them. Joe Fish. UK town ruined by hell-raising feral thugs. Troubles in Torbay. T-O-R-B-O-Y. I don't know what that, where that is. I never did one over there. Talk to me though. Copyright, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True, let me sub up. Man, you know. Hit the like button early. Talk to me, Joe. Today, I'm in the Torbay area of Devon, comprising of three main towns, Paynton, Torquay, and Brixham. Once affectionately known as the English Riviera, this region of the UK was once one of the most popular destinations for a British seaside holiday. However, now it's the most dangerous area in the region and one of the most deprived in Britain. Like many once thriving seaside towns around the UK, the yeah. Torbay area now finds itself struggling with a number yeah, we know that, man. <clears throat> Anything that used to be a thriving seaside with sea attractions, there's no jobs there, there's, it's run down, there's no opportunity nowadays, <clears throat> unfortunately. That's the, that's the, that's the trend. Number of problems, town. a lack of housing, low employment opportunities and dwindling tourist numbers, combined with some of the highest rates of rough sleepers and antisocial behaviour to be found anywhere in the UK. This has led to a flood of negative headlines such as British seaside town overrun with feral weapon-toting rooftop yobs as young as nine. Dang. The once booming UK seaside town ruined by crime and abandoned tourist attractions. The seaside town is tormented by feral kids as young as nine. Gangs terrorise us from rooftops, and Torquay being named among Britain's worst seaside towns. Why are British coastal towns seemingly dying before our eyes? Let's explore Paynton and Torquay to find out if they live up to the headlines and investigate what has happened to these once thriving seaside resorts. No, I think, man, these seaside resorts, I think there's so much money invested by whoever is building these seaside resorts that they won't close them down or rebrand them or repurpose them because they think it's going to have that same booming business that it once had but it's in, in turn it's just you know killing killing the area good morning from the english riviera i'm now walking along torquay's beach There's an overwhelming problem of homelessness across Torquay and Paynton. It's abundantly clear. You can just see another homeless person sat under the shelter ahead of us. That's a couple. Very lovely. Can I get you a cup of tea? Oh, I haven't got no change on me, but I've got my card on me. I can get you a cup of tea. A coffee? Yeah, no problem. Cup. No what? No sugar. No drama. It's two seconds. Great guy. Hey, lovely. All right, I got you a little donut as well. That's all right. Oh, bless you. Well, I hope you enjoy your little coffee and stuff. All right. Bless you, darling. Thank you. I'm on Factory Road, one of the most notorious roads within Torquay. A road where they house a lot of the homeless inhabitants of Torquay. There seems to be a police incident taking place right now. This is where they house a lot of the this is he's... where they house a lot of the homeless inhabitants of Torquay. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah. There seems to be a police incident taking place right now.
feel like some people, when you're used to not having nothing, you continue to act like that. So you treat stuff like it's nothing. And, you know, areas like this, is, it's, it's going to be a high police presence. And then it's ducked off in the corner with high walls and, you, and they're like away from the main road. So it's like a lot of, it looks sketchy. You can see somebody's being arrested at the end of the road. See this smashing days. <laughs> Is it like this a lot on Factory Row? Is it like this a not lot? Is this that? Bad. Yeah, not this bad. Not this bad. What's going on? Do you know? Where's she? Yeah, there, look. Huh? Sutterville Bill, look. You went in the middle. In other words, no, they don't. No idea. You see someone being led to the car here? Probably a domestic. He headbutted the police, bro. Come on, you look like him headbutted. Oh, you don't have to live for me. Well, I guess the <laughs> reputation of Factory yeah. Row and Castle Circus is pretty much on point. That was pretty shocking scenes there, watching a man get bundled into the back of a police van, headbutted the door on his way in. Absolutely crazy. just wandered into one of the public parks and I've come across a big tent seems to be some homeless are encamped here the lit one you are probably the biggest amateur lover of the UK thank you underneath the tree there Man, he got it anchored into the concrete wall and that thing he ain't playing and another one there. This looks nice though. I've come across another homeless encampment here. You can see they've actually been given a bin by the council. So many spots like this across Torquay and Paynton. The number of homeless folk on the streets is overwhelming. Yeah, another tent in Torquay. What is going on in this place? Camouflage behind the bamboo. Hey man, you would love Miami. It's crazy. Miami is Miami, LA, Skid Row, Baltimore, Maryland, like a lot of... Another tent. There's whole towns, it feels like. It truly does make you wonder what is happening to the Torbay area. One problem that's very clear is housing, or the lack of housing, should I say. Torbay Bay has 50% less social housing than the rest of England, having some of the lowest numbers of social housing properties in the country. Nationally, 17 in every 100 homes qualify as social housing. This means they are provided by local authorities, charities and housing associations at lower rates than the private market. But shockingly, in Torbay, it's less than half the national average, with 8 in every 100 homes qualifying as social housing some of the lowest figures to be found not only in England but the whole of the United Kingdom leaving local authorities a bursting point voice over clean the state of all that rubbish yeah see Fix okay in Miami what back let me see in Miami this will be like a little town I literally like right off the Pharrell roads like it's a metro train oh, I forgot what it's called here I forgot what it's called but whatever their train is, right around the train tracks, there's like a little area with like five or six or seven tents set up, like right here. Like I seen a, I seen a, it was a TV in there, electric scooters, kids stuff, all type of stuff. I was dang. The state of all that rubbish. Victoria Park here in Paynton. 
So I'm down in the Torbay area. What can you tell me about living in Paynton? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Pretty good because you go like five miles that way. You're in country. Five anywhere you got the beaches and everything. Yeah. Just you've also got a lot of homelessness and addiction. Yes. Uh, a quick Google search of Paynton will lead you to a number of articles mentioning the feral feral yobs i mean when we were first here we were in bnb and there was stabbings there was absolute nightmare in garfield doesn't help that they've just taken away the skate park just because that's where they gathered the younger ones it does seem to be one of the major complaints of the residents is that there isn't anywhere for took away the skate park now they everywhere you got to get them somewhere to go and just leave like leave a police presence there well the youth to, to go there's a serious lack of opportunity for yeah. the young in Paynton and I Torquay. Mean, there, there always has been. Now with the skate park closing, can you see problems increasing again? Oh God, yeah, they've already started. Have they? There has been a number of um, violent incidents yeah, and stuff like that, started. hasn't it? Yeah, because they can't congregate anywhere because youngsters like to congregate. They do. Yeah, uh, well, they need a place to gather and socialise with well, the friends. that's what Parkfield was supposed to be. Right. But then they run that to the ground and shut it, so... Oh dear. Yeah. So, is there any way back for painting? Yeah, if they put a lot more money into it and actually cleaned it up, I mean, it's disgusting. I feel sorry for the tourists because it's quite dirty, because it is dirty. Yeah. But yeah, it's tired. It's tired, isn't it? Yeah. And I think the uh, residents are tired. <laughs> mm, yeah, it seems that way. Well, thank you ever so much That's for right, your time. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. This, this, is this that road again? You can see this massive pile of rubbish here being overlooked by residential fly tipping the buildings looking out your window every day to this bearing in mind that's a six foot wall so you can see quite how large the pile is made up of beds cardboard boxes cabinets all sorts I don't get why they just don't send somebody to just clean this stuff up like the city like send people around send two three workers in one truck just give them like a quarter of the area and they could just clean this up so tell them i know they wasted money on things that were less necessary yes, mate. what's the opportunities like for you what's it been like growing up in Torquay? well there's well, a lot of uh, there's a massive underground job problem yeah uh, Torbay. there's a lot of there's a lot of drugs yeah that's the only opportunities downwards. that are rising just just drug shit really just, just, a lot of a lot of kids just go around and sell drugs they drunk off the magnums <laughs> some people don't some some people just try to leave the area as quickly as possible because it isn't the best area to grow up in yeah so i supposed to retire in or live but growing up in yeah. Torquay is a bit it's of an issue. There should be a fuck ton of shops like down here, but like, just, the, yeah, the council's fuck, fucked it all the up. The government like. as well is not helping the area, the local government. Mm. is not really putting the right funding into the right places. It could be a lot better, but uh, you just got to deal with what it is. Too many know? spices. Yeah. Spice is a massive problem with young like, kids our age. Really? You can get it. Spice? Your age? In these pens, um, you can get liquids and put it in your pens. Just, just pour it in, just use it at school. Yeah. It's, it's... Wait, wait. Spice? Y'all have oiled, like, like I know, like, oil pans for THC and CBD, but now you could do it with spice? Oh, my. That doesn't sound very... That don't sound very healthy. That's... Drug free is the way to be. Use oh my goodness! Whoever it just—it looks like a vape, but it's not, and it smells like a vape as well. It doesn't smell like anything. You can just puff on it, and it just gets you high. It's it's fucked up for about twenty minutes yeah. and use it again. Mm. Oh, it's, it's fucked a lot of people up. Yeah, like I know a lot of people that have been fucked up by it, but there's some people that come and cover into people that can't, you know, this yeah, sort of, of course. things. Yeah. Well, lads, I hope things improve in Torquay for you. I really, really do. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's going to get any better, but... Yeah, uh, it's just move out of the city, maybe the country, you know. Well, thanks ever so much for your time, lads. Right. Paint and pleasure cruises.
Torbay was once a giant of the British tourism industry, attracting millions of visitors every year, enticing tourists from all over the nation to its beachside villas and picturesque promenades. And I feel like that's what they hold on to. Are these rocks? <clears throat> Is that sand or rock? With Torquay, Paynton and Brixham becoming a favourite holiday destination with people from all over the nation. There were many happy years until it all changed in the 1970s when foreign holidays become a more viable option. Since then, there has been a steep and steady decline, only increasing in recent years with so many problems and obstacles to overcome. With tourism numbers looking likely to be the worst in the last 10 years, how will the businesses and locals that rely on that tourism fare in the coming years without a serious change? There are around 1,000 businesses in the Torbay region that rely solely on tourism, employing around 12,000 people which makes up around 20% of the workforce. You can see why residents and authorities are worrying about the decline in the tourist numbers. What is truly leading to the decline in British tourism? Is it the obvious one, cheap foreign holidays? Is it the cost of living? Is it just too expensive to holiday in the UK now? I never normally ask, but it really helps the channel when you like, comment, and subscribe. When I film video, it does. Inevitably, it does. And a lot of people take this for granted, man. Like and subbing, and even not dropping a comment. Any thought that you think in your head while watching a video, comment it. Why not? <laughs> it's like this. I want them to go out to as wide an audience as possible. And with your help, by liking, comment, and subscribing, we can I do agree. that. Matter of fact, let me go leave me a little comment, man. Great editing. That This comment means a lot. Great editing. I'm one of the best editors on the platform. So coming from me, this comment is a lot. Try to tell y'all, man. I feel like comments push... Comments push the um, video more than, than anything else, in my opinion. If you can get like five, six, seven, eight hundred comments, your video's done. You can hear a lot of shouting and screaming a minute ago from that flat window. I'm assuming that's where the police are. We're at the Castle Circus area of Torquay now, a very renowned area within the town for substance abuse, homelessness, crime, you name it. You can see there's been a large incident here with much of the high street actually well, caught. It don't even seem like it's that many people living in this town. Like, off. Police everywhere. Else. Just walking up on a abandoned car park here. Don't go in there. I know you've seen that Will Smith movie. That's where they at. Let's go and investigate. Oh man, you bold. You real brave, because I wouldn't have did it. Numerous signs of habitation within this abandoned car park. It's a number of bags put in corners. With signs of substance abuse taking place inside this abandoned car park with paraphernalia strewn around on the floor in the corners it's very clear this car park is being used by homeless what does it smell like in here right let's head out of the car park it's got a bit of a feel in the air i'm not gonna lie let's get out of here uh, still smiling. Still smiling, brother. <laughs> so tell me, man. Tell me, what's your story? I am. Um, I'm a tool maker by trade. I went self-employed about three months before the first lockdown, so I didn't get any furlough. Pack. Yeah, you gotta remember, man. You gotta remember. Um, COVID tore a lot of people down. I obviously wasn't employed anymore, uh, but I wasn't self-employed long enough to get any of the government grants. So I mean, I worked. So I worked hard for my money. I worked long hours. Uh, away from home, six and a half days, but I, and overnight I lost everything, absolutely everything. No, I, I went from earning that sort of money to the government giving me about three hundred pound a month. Yeah. So I've really struggled to find housing. I mean, I've been homeless for nearly four years. Now. Really. Um, 
So mm. I've pretty much I've just travelled the coastline, trying to make the best of a bad situation. For almost four years, so that's all of COVID. But I've worked with various homeless charities, and what I struggle with, with with social housing is that I've got no local connection. So basically, I'm from Buckinghamshire. Yeah. Uh, my parents moved to Kingsbury, South Hams, so yeah. Devon. Now the council there are saying they've got to be there ten years for a county's local connection. Whereas I've got no local connection back in Buckinghamshire now either. If you look at the private housing sector, there's there's so much competition um, for, for landlords to pick and choose who they have. So I mean, I'll go back to work next week if I could have a refund. Yeah. Um, so if they've the choice of a working couple over me, and my dog, um, just a month's worth of housing benefits, just give me that foot up. Yeah. I never ever win, and I've got shit credit as well. Not really light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I genuinely I don't know when it's going to end. I haven't even had a shower in the past month. Oh, mate, so you're going to enjoy... the last time I was indoors. I mean, I've paid into the system for 25 years. Where's their local connection? Do you know why are they being hoped? Why am I not being hoped? Mm -hmm. Do you know? It's outrageous. But I genuinely, I can't see any light. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it's going to end. Tonight. Mate, but there's no point in me crying about things I can't change. I was gonna say I've seen you walking around yeah. with a big smile on your face, Mate, brother. I always try and smile. There's no point in crying about shit I can't change. Good but man. The worst thing about being out here is the people that you're out here with a lot of the time. I really can't see I can't see my situation changing at all. Do you know? I really can't. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like I say, it's not like I want to be on sick forever. Yeah. I'm not even signed off sick. No, I they can see that you're keen they, to work. They expect me to go and look for a job still. I have to go to the job centre every week. I show that I've been looking for a job. I mean, how can I, how can I be reliable? How can I work? All I want is a roof over my head. Yeah. Do you know? This is so frustrating. But Bless so you, that's bro. us, that's me and Bo. Oh, mate, yeah, you got your body there next to you, yeah, man. I don't know what to do about it. Really oh, honest. bless you, bro. But yeah, it's chill. Yeah, that's a rough situation. See the Union Jacks flying high there. You can see the tourists there, sat overlooking the beach, all in their raincoats. I don't know what is going on with the weather in Britain at the moment, but it is terrible. The wind is incredibly strong. The rain is just constant. I don't know what is going on. It's July and people are still in their raincoats. It's freezing cold. The people of Torquay and Paynton that rely so heavily on the tourism must be pulling their hair out. With weather like this, who wants to come down to the seaside? You can see the flags getting blown everywhere. How have you found yourself in Torquay this evening? Well, uh, yesterday uh, I, I came over here. Uh, My bad. What are these O2 things? I've seen them in another documentary too, this little store shop. I'm looking for somewhere to live, uh, but I uh, haven't uh, been able to, to clinch a deal, but that might change. Uh, Where are you staying tonight? Yeah, uh, last night I was in a doorway down there, and I'd probably be the same tonight. Sorry to hear that. And how do you find sleeping on the doorways in the, in the evening time? There's been a number of reports within the tabloids of troubled youths and violence amongst the... I haven't had, I haven't, I haven't had no problem at all. Uh, I, I know that there, 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 are, there are such rumours about, but, but I, I've experienced no such problem. And, and, I, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll stay that way. Let's hope so, mate. Okay. And are you, so you're saying you're on the, in a doorway this evening? Yes, yes, I shall be, yeah. Unfortunately, mate. I'm really sorry to hear that, buddy. Hopefully well, things can change for you, mate. Well, I'm, I'm going to go and watch the football. Good man. <laughs> Good man. That sucks. I couldn't imagine, like, I'm just, like, trying to put myself in a homeless person's shoe. You sleep in a doorway, you wake up, and then you just roam around until you, until it's time to sleep again and search for your next meal throughout the day that's terrible you can see the cafes on the main promenade in Torquay are really quiet on the surface Paynton and Torquay are absolutely beautiful with the promenade and the cafes lining them but there certainly is an underbelly one of poverty, desperation, homelessness, substance abuse. It can all be found here on the English Riviera. It's real nice. Well, I thought we'd come to one of the most beautiful spots within the Torbay region. Anstey's Cove here in Torquay. 
a beautiful idyllic secluded cove just on the outskirts of Torquay. So did Paynton and Torquay live up to the reputation outlined by the national media within those headlines? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one. I will say in general, this looks like a nice town, very posh like situation, but it just, it's, it's down bad, man. I'm all of the, all of these towns on the water that have the, the, the little summer attractions, they're all like, like, they're all like this. It's time to move away from that, but like, where would the funding come from? To repurpose those shops and repurchase those pier things and all of that, whatever. That sucks, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, I'm down.